What do you suppose he's thinking about right now at this very minute? Back in seventh or eighth grade, I got a skateboard. I practiced on that skateboard quite a bit. I was able to eventually do an ollie, and that took a lot of practice. I think I landed a pop shove at once. So after a while, I got bored of doing the tricks, and then I just never touched the skateboard again. So I saw this video recently about Tony Hawk where he's asking people to do kickflips. What's up? Do a kickflip! Yo, do a kickflip! I realized that I never fulfilled my dream of actually doing a kickflip. Oh! Since I was in 8th grade, I've actually picked up a lot more board sports. I got really into longboarding, I got really into snowboarding, I now have a one wheel, I've got like almost 5,000 miles under my belt one wheeling. I am challenging myself to be able to learn how to do a kickflip in just a single weekend. From me having a skateboard to being able to do a kickflip. I don't know how long it takes an average person to learn how to do a kickflip. I hope I can actually do it, but there's a decent chance I'm gonna fail and not be ready in time. I don't even have a skateboard anymore, so now we're on our way to LA Skate Co. to actually buy myself a new skateboard. These guys will be able to build me a board to specifically my needs, under $100. I don't wanna break the board or the budget. I've never been able to actually land a kickflip. Um, is, is that like a stupid, unrealistic goal, or is that doable? I probably couldn't do it. Okay. <laughs> these trucks, these wheels, these bearings, and this blank board. 82 bucks? That's less than 100. Now he's gonna build it for me. I'm excited. You know the devil. You know how to do a kickflip? I'll do those anymore. All right, you'll get it. That's what determination is. If you don't succeed, try, try, try again. Best of luck. Thank yeah. you so yeah. much. Yeah. Well, should I try right here? <laughs> Twisted my ankle doing that. Oh, this is gonna be a journey. So I need to actually be taught how to do a kickflip. And for that, we brought in the sun. What up, son? What up, son? Bring it in. Dude, you brought two boards. I brought, I brought one for you. All right. Brett, I need your help teaching me how to do a kickflip. A kickflip. Okay, do you know how to ollie? I do. I think so. I'm pretty sure I can do an ollie. Okay. Do you know how to do a pop shove? I, I landed a pop shove in the grass like 15 years ago. Okay, well, you can land those two tricks so you can do a kickflip, no doubt. So We can do it in a weekend. Mm. How did you learn? When did you learn? How long did it take you to learn? It probably took like two and a half years after I started skating, to be honest. It took a while, and that was like from basic, like learning how to ollie, which even took a while. And like, granted, there were like, there was no, like, no clips on the internet or anything like that. Like, you had like, Tony Hawk to set up a Sorry, I wasn't listening after you said it took you two and a half years. It took a while, but honestly, like, it's, it, it, there's a lot of physics to it, which I think he would understand. So did you get a board already, though? I did get a board. You want to see it? I'd love to see it. Let's All check right. it out. I wanted something that was decent enough, but not super cheap. So this whole setup cost about $80. Oh! <laughs> I skate them for different reasons. This one I skate more for like vert, because it's a lot wider, obviously. This one I skate more for like street stuff. I've already watched a few tutorials from Braille Skateboarding. Okay. Are you familiar with that YouTube channel? I, I am, they're actually really good. His most recent kickflip tutorial literally came out yesterday. All of the videos, they basically said, Learn how to do all these other tricks first. Just gonna do a single ollie. That was actually pretty good, man. So the other tricks that they want us to do before doing a kickflip is pop shove, uh, it. Pop shove it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try a pop shove it. Jeez. Man. <laughs> the road. The road's it's not just, it's that bad. I mean, Shit. we paved some. We fixed some of it. That's fixed! Where? Dude, give me a magnifying glass! Alright, well, this is Ren time. We gotta focus on Ren. I'm, I'm just uh, I'm just gonna do an Ollie. Define an Ollie. I will slam my rear ankle down as I lift my front foot up, flick the, the top of this here underneath me the whole time. I'm lifting my back foot up again to bring him up. Ah. You gotta pop it. Tail will pop, so. Your front foot comes up, like you were saying. You don't want to lean back. You, just, you want to stay forward. That was a nice ollie. It's like lifting your, your knees up as you're, you're popping. Okay, that was good. That's actually pretty good, actually. Okay, so you got the ollies. Okay, so what's the mechanic 
for a pop shove it. I'm always just kind of like. Oh. You're popping, and you're you're basically pushing your front foot forward. So you're giving that you're giving it that pop, and then when your front foot presses forward, you're just giving it that slight shove, and your feet catch it. Back around. It's cool to see this stuff in person. I only ever see it on YouTube videos. Perfect, he's got it. Yes, yes. Okay, so I don't think it's impossible for you to learn. In order for me to really learn a little bit better about the mechanics behind like foot placement and all that, I wanted to do something that we can only really do this week, which is to put you into a motion capture suit, capture your actual motion data. You doing a kickflip so that I can analyze that. I think if I watch your motion capture data, that might help. Sure, yeah. yeah what do we do? do? Oh, can. Okay, that's good? Yeah. So, what are you guys looking for? Technique. Roll camera, roll recording. Step on the skateboard and kickflip. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Brett, thank you so much for doing this. Oh, son. You keep doing it, keep skating. All right, son. Let's see. Man, it's always a good day when Brett comes by. Yeah, he left with the suit and my board. Thank you. Gosh. Thinking he was gonna leave with my board? Come on. The suit, though. Oh, dang, you're right. So the advantage of using a motion capture suit is now I can actually replay this kickflip over and over and over again for 10,000 times if I wanted to, and I don't burn bread out. The more tools you have, the better off you are at learning. Is that a seven in the morning, and I don't want to disturb people with my clackety clacking. Brett sent over a video last night of Tony Hawk teaching people how to do a kickflip, and even they struggled with it, and they had 18 years of experience with it at that point. So I'm gonna go find somewhere a little bit more remote to practice this morning. I'm on top of a mountain, and I wanted to talk to you today about Audible. So I've been watching kickflip tutorials, I've been talking to Brett, I've been trying to practice on my own, but I also decided, you know what, I gotta take this a level outside of what I'm doing right now, and try to see if there are ways that I can learn better. I, I literally have dozens of books I'd like to recommend, but I thought I should try to recommend something a little relevant to today's video. So instead of a fantasy or sci-fi novel, I wanted to recommend The Art of Learning by Josh Whiteskin. He is a chess champion by the age of nine, and a few years later he decided to become a Tai Chi champion, like you do. And he realized that he's not necessarily good at chess or Tai Chi, what he's good at is learning. And so he wrote this whole book on how to learn. Audible is a service that I literally use all the time, and if you want to get your first book for free, plus two Audible originals when you try Audible for 30 days, visit audible.com slash corridor crew, or you can text corridor crew to 500, 500 Audible also has a lot of original content too called Audible Originals, which are exclusive audio titles created by celebrated storytellers from worlds as diverse as theater, journalism, and literature. Yeah, so if you want to get your first audiobook for free, just go to audible.com slash corridor crew or text corridor crew to 500, 500 when you try Audible for 30 days. It's a great service. I use it every single month. I probably listen to about 60 hours a month of audiobook content. Okay, let's get back to some kickflips. <sighs> I don't have any water. That's not good. Very thirsty. I always have water. I'm definitely in that trough of regret right now, coming up with the idea for this video. Because I thought it'd be challenging, but I didn't realize it'd be impossible. That's what determination is. If you don't succeed, try, try, try. Skate Santa would say I'm having the wrong attitude right now. I gotta have determination. He's right. I'm nowhere close to landing the trick. But for the first time, I actually have the board rotating the way it should be. It's all about getting that flick right. I feel like I know how I should be doing it, but getting my body to actually do what I want it to do is a different story. God, I really hope I get this.
am I doing wrong? That a lot of skaters have trouble with when they learn how to do a kickflip is... Tutorials I've watched, they all say to, when you're trying to do the flip, actually land with your front foot on the board, but your back foot on the ground. Damn. Ah, ow! So I've been, I've been practicing for a few hours today, and I feel like I'm making no progress. I'm definitely starting to believe that this was a fool's errand. But it's been a good Saturday hanging out. I know like technically what I need to do, but my body's not doing it and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So I'm gonna bring Brett back to see if he can actually identify what I'm doing wrong. I, I went from basically never having done a pop shove it to after a few tries, he coached me how to do it. So I'm hoping that maybe with a little bit more practice, I'll know what to do for doing a kickflip and with his tutoring, I'll actually be able to land it. So it's actually kind of hard to set up cameras for all these tries. So for the rest of today, I'm not gonna do any more camera work. Son. What do you have on your lens? You got some stuff on your lens here. So you've got 48 hours. No, from right now I got less than a day. So let's let's see what you have so far. There you go. That's there it. Go. So pop, and then right when you feel that pop, it's a flick right off the end of the nose. Once you pop, just jump up a little. I think I overestimated my ability to learn how to do this. I was hoping to skip the line and go straight to the front, and it turns out that I can't really do that. I really do have to bide my time in line. You know, really mastering the ollie, really getting the pop shove it down, getting a better feel for just riding the board in general. Like you're saying, I'm close, but it doesn't matter because I'm not there. How long did you spend though? How long like all together do you feel like you're on your board out of 48 hours? You gave yourself 48 hours, right? Yeah. Out of those 48 hours, how long do you feel like you actually were on your board? Because we've only been on for three hours today. And it seems like forever. I think I spent about three hours yesterday. So six hours total. Six no, hours. No, throw in another hour. I did I did some a little over seven. Okay. Yeah, seven hours. About seven hours so far on the board trying to do the kickflip. That's not even remotely enough to to learn any skill that's complex like this. At least Avengers was good. Out of you know. <laughs> Saw a good superhero movie. <laughs> right, I man. do really appreciate you coming yeah, of out. Of course, man. man. You almost have it. My expectation to do this in a weekend was completely unreasonable. I think so, yeah. I mean, it's not unheard of. You could definitely do it, but... Um, just can't watch Avengers. Landing this. Yeah! 
that's a lot of like pain to get to like one trick, right? Yeah. Oh my God. My my shins are beat up right now. They are bloody. My my foot. When I landed on my foot, I've got I could feel the bruise. So how, out of forty eight hours, how long would you say that you spent on it, and how how long would you say? Eight. Eight hours. Some, some little... Well, it was just, I, I finally got to a point where I was able to identify those three things. It's the puck, the flick, mm -hmm. and the legs. Yep, working together, like at different yeah. times, but kind of in junction. That's awesome. Dude. There you go, guys. Well, this guy did it. Good job, son. Thank you, son. Now I'm going to go home and get some sleep. <laughs> yeah, because you got to get up at 4 a.m. I do, son. 3.50 a.m. We'll see you, son. See you, Jenna. Thank you. Woohoo! <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Ram. That's what determination is. If you don't succeed, try, try, try again. That was that was the actual legit one. It's super messy. It's super janky, it but I will take it. It doesn't matter, dude. That's leaps and bounds from where you were. Look at that, dude. Oh now God. I'm sure you can do that over and over again. Though. Because I've landed it doesn't mean I know how to do it. I'm not the best teacher either, so I'm glad. You did I'm great, glad. son. Did you do great? Thank you, son. I, I wouldn't have been able to do this without you. Well, no, you would have though, right? It would have taken me so much longer. I've watched the accounts from people online. I've read descriptions on how to do it. None of that compares to having a one-on-one -on -one tutor who can recognize what you're doing wrong and help you correct that. Because otherwise, I'm just maybe making bad habits. Oh, man. You're awesome, man. I'm proud of you, yeah. I'm proud of you for I'm teaching you, son. Come here, son. Aww. 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 <laughs> what do you suppose he's thinking about? right now, at this very minute.